should be a random storage, I hope. Alright, looks like the energy catch up. Like, that's something I always forget about coming from Minecraft. You just go, 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 go. You don't even stop for anybody. <laughs> but for this, you gotta stop and rest. Don't worry, I can I can expand my plot over here if I need to. It does sound like a playing pool. I can expand my plot or, or do another one. Cause I have the cubus to buy another plot, and I can just call this a mine. I don't know how deep the mines go though. I mean, not the mines. I don't know how deep the plots go. Anybody know? So if I were to put like a plot like right here, like right where this entrance is, a beacon, I should not a plot. Um, I could do a campfire now. Like how deep does it go? That's a good question. But I need like a ladder for something like that. Because I pro you'd probably want to go straight down. Instead of like in an angle like I'm doing. Or you probably want to go in a spiral. So I probably want to like go like this. I think Square published this game. I don't know if they made it. They're, they got something to do with it. Um, how's it compared to Pixar? Pixar is Ark. Pixelated. This is not dinosaurs. So there's a big difference. There's no, the, as far as I can see, I don't see any tameable dinosaurs or anything like that. This is an MMO. Ark is server based. So two major differences right there. Two very major differences. Arc is server based. This is an MMO. Um, you don't have to rent a server with this. This is all it's all connected via the servers that you join. And I'm probably gonna need a torch because it's gonna get really dark down here. I didn't even think about torches, but I'm not getting flint. any torches I can hold in my hand. I think I placed them all. Crap. Okay, I got three flint. Let's craft four torches. There's no monthly fees, but there is microtransactions. So, and the microtransactions, you know, they're, they're a little bit a, a source of controversy right now. Definitely a source of controversy. So let's, um... We're going to mainly use the hammer, so we're going to put this in our right hand. And just hold it up so we can see. And we're going to... Okay, I need to place a block here. Barely see. Okay. So where did I come from? Up here? So this is doing some weird stuff. Is it possible for the world to just regen on top of me and I won't be able to get out of here? That would be kind of hilarious, wouldn't it?
axe. What the deuce is my shovel? I think it broke. I'm gonna the axe down here. So, that's so weird. You put something in your hand and it just ignores. Okay. I'm not even going to say out loud what I was thinking because it will confuse you even more. But this this whole UI is just, is just odd. Alright, we'll place a torch here. Only tw every 12 hours? Don't eat. I just hope I'm getting more flint. Like, I'm not, I'm not noticing when I'm getting flint. Need the flints. I'm assuming death doesn't matter. Guess we'll find out, huh? It's a really sloppy mine so far, but you know what? How do I like this game? Uh, it's okay so far. I mean, I'm day one on the MMO. I mean, it's like when a new MMO comes out. It's like, you're doing the tutorial, you're doing like the first 20 or so levels. It's hard to kind of say whether you love the game or like the game or whatever. I mean, I can give opinions on the UI, I can give opinions on the on the leveling system, the options, the, the controls, the lag. But overall, the game is... It's a game. Nothing super special so far. But it's kind of... Weird to expect that this early in the MMO, I guess. I haven't really traveled anywhere outside of my own place. Oh, here we go. What's this? That looks different. Ancient tech remnants. This is what I needed. Okay. This is what I need to make the... Uh, something. I forgot what it was, but I needed this. So that's what it looks like. It's just, it's just a, it's just a, it's a, it's a circuit board inside of a rock. Got it. All right, Steve, man. Thanks for coming by, and I appreciate the kind words. And I hope things get better for you, man. I really do. And thank you for the support. I think they will get better for you. I think they'll get better for you. So thank you for your support, man. Have a good night. Weirdest mine I've ever made in my life. Probably should place another torch down here, huh? Boop. Broke the hammer. Good thing I made another one. Ha! Ancient tech relics. That's exactly why I came down here to see if they were underground and they are so that's good to know it was something that i think it was the, the the upgraded crafting table yeah that's what it was so the upgraded i think it's called a workshop it needed ancient tech relics so let's go back slash warp home <laughs> let's go back and uh see if we can craft it 
Uh, how do I get up here? Way. <laughs> I want to go home. There we Okay. No. No. Not there. There we go. Here's my cube. My home cube. Which the door was open. Okay. So. That angle though. It is called a... Oh, I can do another beacon control now. Interesting. Hmm. I can put a beacon control over there by that... Um, by the mine if I want to keep it. Uh, it is called a workbench. And it requires one ancient tech remnant. And I have seven. And I need a base metal. Uh, and timber. So, didn't I find some kind of an ore down there? Gravel, sand, soft coal. I thought I found some ore. I guess it was just coal. I do have two copper. I smelted that in my furnace. Not sure what I can do with coal except use it as fuel. That's my assumption. Uh... Two whole flint. Woo! <laughs> Makes me not want to make torches, man. You get like one flint per hour in this game. Uh, okay. Well, let's store the uh, the tension, the the tension, the ancient tech relics. Let's store that here. <laughs> and um. I guess gravel. I don't need to be carrying gravel around. And the warp conduits we can put there too. A little storage rack. I wonder how the stone ones look. I should make a stone one just to see how it looks. I think it requires glue. It does. Yeah, it requires glue. I don't want to waste glue. Because you need bones for that. And I ain't killed much yet. Okay. Sit rep. What am I doing? I need I need a okay, I need an ore. I need some metal. And then I'll be ready to craft this table and see what new things I can craft. Let's do that. Let's go over here. Back to our a mine. They call it a mine. And we're gonna see if we can find some uh some copper and some other stuff. Uh if I can remember where it is. I probably should place a torch in front of it. That would be smart. Like so. There we go. Easy to see now. Until it regens. Until everything goes away. I think I might just build a, a, a straight up. Um, oh, I wasn't further, furthest down. Just going like straight. Do some strip mining. Is my character made of diamonds? I don't even know. What is this? Small fossil seam. Small fossil. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. I really should split the torches and put them in both. I only have one torch left. Ah! Goodbye, friend. Okay, so let's put one torch. You can split this, but I don't know how. It's like, there we go. Uh, one. 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 There we go. Let's put one torch with the... This guy and one torch with this guy. So, right click. No. Split is hold. There we go. Where do I? Wait, why did I just need one? One with him. 
and one with him. You can only do it in one hand. Okay, that that's... How many mods are you using? I'm not using any. This is kind of dumb, though. That you can only use, you can only have one torch out in your hand at a time. I guess I'm placing one. But I don't count dirt that often, so. Kind of fossils, but no actual ore. Hmm. Thank you. I was gonna say that's kind of weird. Resting up a little bit. Let's go ahead and eat too. That's actually. I'm already full, I think. There we go. Well, no, I don't want that. Give me this. Give me this back. There we go. Rustlock, thanks for the host, buddy. Appreciate it. So that was copper. Got some more ancient stuff here. Quite a bit of the ancient tech. So how many? Do I, how many of the copper do I get for this? I wonder. I'm actually appreciating these sounds. I like how they sound. It does sound like pool, though. head back now. That's enough ore to do the thing. It's a maze of a mine. Makes no sense at all. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, boy. You guys are silly. Silly bumpkins. All right, so I, I got to actually smelt this. So we're going to use the copper, not the copper, the uh, coal as fuel, right? Hey, it works. And um, start furnace. It's a cooking. <laughs> oh, man. That is a, a minute per, I think. Yep, it's a minute per. Oof. But, I mean, I think it's the, uh, it's a tier one furnace, so I think I can get a better one. I'm hoping, at least. Once I get this workbench, I think I'll be, I'll, it'll open me up to some new stuff. That's what I'm assuming. Can I make this yet? I need the glue, that's right. Glue is not plentiful, apparently.
There's a mod for that, huh? Let's learn this tip. Okay, I think that's all I needed. Four of any ore. And now we need just timber. Which... I got a little chop. Choose you. Okay. Um, it's not a bad game in terms of like look and feel and stuff. It it, it runs well. The atmosphere is and the game is pretty. Um, but, you know, my audience and other audiences probably played Minecraft. And in terms of differentiators, it's just well, it's just way too early to say what separates this game from others. Um, I just haven't gotten to that point yet. I don't think anybody has. I think it's too early. Well that back people probably who played in the betas and alphas probably did but in terms of end game and just what there is to do outside of just what i'm doing now this is i mean the only the only minor complaint i have is just the ui takes i'm getting used to i'm still not completely used to it i don't like the one thing i don't like is that when i craft something on the table i have to take it out of the table drag it to my inventory close that window reopen my inventory drag it from the inventory to my hand that just takes too long um i wish they could simplify that um i'm getting faster at it but it's just a minor gripe uh, i haven't learned teleporting stuff uh so far i mean people are going to be asking about microtransactions because i think that's like the the topic of controversy i've got a plot here that's going to last a month and it was very easy to get so I guess unless you're building like a, a, a fortress or an empire or a guild, um, I don't think the microtransactions are going to make that much of a difference from what I can see. Because I was looking at the, the cubits and what you get from cubits. It's like there's some quality of life stuff here. I think the the beacon auto fuel definitely gives you an advantage. It's a very good quality of life thing. Uh, resets the skill set stuff. You know, the skill set thing. I don't even know what that entails. I guess this is something you can earn later on or you can buy with cubits. Thing is, you can earn cubits too. So it's like, I've been earning cubits up until now and they're a paid currency as well. So it's like, it comes down to how fast you can grind cubits versus, you know, somebody buying it. I don't know. It doesn't bother me yet. Oh crap. Did I do that? I did that. That's something born of it. Um, it doesn't bother me yet, but I haven't got to the point to probably it would bother me. So it's early, too early to say. I don't know. It's too early to form an opinion, man. It's not bad, though. But it's not great either. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, yeah, let's see if I can do this now. Make some timber. So yeah, you take this, move it here, and if I had to put it in my hand, I'd have to open it again and then move it to my hand. It's kind of, ugh. All right. Recipes. Give me workbench. Yes. Four. Why would I craft four workbenches? Weird. I think that's a, a mistake. I think it's a mistake. Alright, let's take a look at my skills here. Okay. 
character. Here we go. Um, so I have points to spend. Grapple, huh? That sounds cool. Sounds like that'll help me get around. Um, tool crafting level. We'll do that. Weapon crafting. Tech crafting. Hmm. Food crafting. Brew crafting. Or I could put some attributes into uh, points into my attributes. I think I'll do a vitality. Uh, and agility? Yeah. We'll do vitality and agility right now. Apply that. Don't crash. Thank you. Give me my table. Alright, so I have to take it out of here. I got four of them now. Put it in my hand. And find a spot for it. Okay, that's the wrong button. Workbench. So is that just give me more stuff here now? Some assembly required. Oh, I need more than one. So maybe I need to place four of them. Let's try four. That's kind of cool. A resource finding tool called the Atlas. Oh, there it is. That's the thing that allows you to teleport. The warp augment. Any base metal and fresh vital essence. I don't know what that is. Um... Machined iron, machined copper, machined silver alloy, a cog, a nail, a bucket, improved beacon fuel. That's interesting. Greater beacon fuel extractor. Interesting. So is that like a turtle? Kappa. And a portal conduit. So that creates a portal. Interesting. Um. Yeah. So that's an advanced table. So if we look at my beacon plot, I have this much covered because I expanded it using my plots. So it's bigger than what this little house is and it's protected for 30 days because everything is inside of here that I've built. Um, so I can, I can basically landscape all of this, add more buildings, expand this out, put a door here, put another, put another room here. Um, and all of this is protected. So it won't degrade. Everything outside of here, including that mine I just made, is going to degrade over time. Suffix Walton. It's protected from the environment degrading it and other players can't access it and stuff. Yeah. Um... Other players can't join your world. It's a, it's a multiplayer game. If you look up at the sky, you can see different worlds. You can you can you can see them better at night, but like there's another world right there. There's a world right there, Fenorium. If I hit B, you can barely see it though, but you can see where people have settled. And there's some things you can do to teleport to them. There's another world there. You can't see it now. And there's people on this world too. But I haven't got to the portal teleport stuff yet. It's an MMO. It's a multiplayer. Cool. Is it actual players or registered plots? It's registered plots. But there could be players there. 
I don't know how many players are logged in right now. I mean, I, I don't know of an MMO that will, like, point you to players. <laughs> so, those are their plots, and they're, they could possibly be there. That's all I know. All right, guys, I think we're going to end it here. We're going to upload this to YouTube to people want to get a first look. So far, so good. I mean, the game is is interesting. Um, like I said, there's a lot to do, a lot to learn, different paths to go down. It is $40 on Steam. I think it's currently $40, right? Came out today, September 11th. Uh, well, yesterday, because it is tomorrow now. Came out today. Um, and uh, this is Boundless.